again, children, it's Jude here. Thanks for joining me again for our EYFS at Home activity day. And it's all around Love Parks Week this week. So I thought it would be really nice if we could make a dragon to go with our Dragon of Alice and Oak book, which obviously is set in my local park. So these are the things you're going to need. It's going to be quite easy, honestly. So you're just going to need a tube, okay? Cardboard tube. You're going to need some paper. Whatever colour you like, I've chosen green because I want my dragon to be green, but it could be white and you can colour it, it's whatever you have. You're going to need some felt tips and some scissors. And again, if you use your scissors and need to move them anywhere, keep them with the point in your hand so it's nice and safe. And then you're going to need some tape, either some cellar tape or some double-sided sticky tape. Okay, now we're going to try and draw a dragon now. So here we go going to use your hands. Now you might need some help with this so if you do you can ask a grown to help you. I'm going to tip the camera down again so you can see what I'm doing with my hands and hopefully that will make it nice and easy for you to follow. Okay so I've got my piece of paper and I've got my felt tip. I'm just going to draw around my hand. Can you see that? So there we go. I'm going to draw around my hand. I've chosen to use a green felt tip to go with my green dragon but you can use whatever colour you like. Okay, so there you go, you've got the, there's the hand, can you see? I'm drawing around it, and then what you do is you take your felt tip again and you join up the gaps between the fingers so they look a little bit like webs. Can you see that? There you go, I'll turn it that way so you can see. Can you see? It looks a bit like dragon spines. If you bring those down, then they look like spines on a dragon's wing. And then, now this is where it gets a bit tricky because you've got to draw around your other hand as well. Now this is where I'm going to find it hard because I normally use my other hand to write with. So I'm gonna to have to be very, very careful. So you might need a grown up to help you do this. Because this is quite tricky if you're not used to using the other hand to draw around your fingers. There we go, nearly done, hooray. And then we're going to do exactly the same again. We're gonna join up the gaps so it looks like a web in between and then bring the spines down. Okay, so there we go. There we got our wings straight away. So they're, they're drawn and they're ready, can you see, to cut out. And then all we need to do is we need to cut out around the wings. So we don't go down in between the fingers, we just go across the top where the webbing is. Okay, now I'm cutting out quite quickly here because obviously I'm doing this for this. You can take as long as you need, that's okay. And if you need to get a grown-up to help you, then that's absolutely fine as well. Okay, don't throw away the bits because we're going to use those for the other bit of our dragon. Okay, so don't throw those bits away. I'm just going to cut these bits out as well. There we go. So there, I've got two dragon wings okay so the dragon wings are ready and now with the bits that are left over we can make a tail and we can make a face okay so the face now again as i said i'm not very good at drawing but i think this is not a bad shape for the face so i'm just going to maybe use it off a bit like that and then i think i'm going to try and make some ears now these dragon's ears sort of flop over at the edge so i'm going to try and make them look a bit floppy over at the edge like that Again, you can ask your grown-up to help you do this bit, or you might have some good ideas by yourself about how you're going to make your dragon ears look good. So there we go, so there we go, there's my dragon's face, that's going to go on the front, and the last thing we need is a tail. So I'm just going to take what's left on here, I'm going to cut out a wiggly tail. Okay, dragons normally have quite long tails. So there we go, so there we go, I'm going to cut my tail. There we go. Ooh, look at this. Getting quite a long, wiggly tail, this dragon. Ooh, look at that. Fantastic. And now we just need to stick those bits on. So I'm going to move the little bits out of the way that I don't need anymore, so I don't get in a muddle. Okay, and now we're going to get ready to put our dragon together. So, we need to stick the wings on first. Okay. And you can put them on one either side, like that. So I'm going to just use my sticky tape. So you can use either double-sided sticky tape if you've got it, or just ordinary cellar tape, or glue if you want. It's entirely up to you. Just put a bit of sticky on each of the wings. 
then you stick it onto your tube okay there we go and then you stick it on and put one there there we go and then put one the other side and you put that one there and there we go our wings are on and if you want to bend them slightly so they flop more like that than you can. You can see we've already got the wings for our dragon, looking very fierce. And then I need to just stick the head on. So again, I'm just going to use a bit of tape to stick the head on. Okay, there we go. Put the tape on there. Now this might not come off quite so easily, so we'll see how this goes. There we go. Okay, excellent. Okay, so there's the head. Okay, and you can draw a face on it as well if you want. I didn't, I didn't remember to do my face. That was a bit silly, wasn't it? And then the last thing you need to stick on is your tail. Okay, so again, just a little bit of tape in the back. And there we go. And then we stick our tail in. I'll put you in that way. There we go. And there we go. We have a dragon and you can decorate the face if you want to add some fire then you can but there's a dragon with a long tail and some big floppy wings so i hope you're going to have lots of fun making your own dragons and obviously please send us in some photographs of your finished dragons we would love to see them and we can even show them to our friend rory okay thanks ever so much we'll see you later we hope you're having lots of fun during the day we certainly are see you later bye bye children